What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? It is I, James, readoptionagency.com, 20-year eBay seller, having the worst freaking week ever in sales. Good Lord. Still been kind of lagging the last couple of days, but anyway, been concentrating on listing. So that's the only thing I'm going to worry about nowadays is listing. Let eBay figure their own damn website out. I can't do nothing about it, so... <laughs> Uh, playing around with the promotion still. Uh, overnight was probably my lowest uh, when it came to like the. Uh, what am I trying to say? I can't remember. Anyway, I changed the. <laughs> Sorry, I've been freaking at the desk all day listing. Um, so I changed my percentages again because it was just doing nothing. Uh, that's when I was adding the like. Would I add 10.5 or whatever onto the average going? I went ahead and just started bumping them up to normal numbers again, like 20 and then uh, like 15 for my clearance and see if that did anything. That's been most of the day, but it still just trickles in. And yeah, the sales are just very sluggish. So and it could be the eBay issue along with the economy going, you know, starting to go downhill a little. So it could be just a combination of everything. Usually February's is a real strong month for me just because it's tax season's coming up and what have you. But with the COVID thing, the last couple of years has been total flip-flop of what normally happens in daily life. So it could be just a little bit of everything. So we're not going to worry about it, of course. But of course, I will fill you in when I can. And like I'm doing now. So we'll get into it. Adrian's doing some pulling for me. So I've got these shelves started to stock up again. Um, what I'm doing on these so I don't have like, instead of putting a bunch of, you know, these are all similar as you can tell. Instead of having like rows of all similar, put half rows and then my singles will be there so I don't have to go a whole row if something that's a single item sells off of that. So it would make it quicker to uh, pull the item. So there's a little kind of a tipish thing I'm doing. I got these shelves almost all the way full now. So I'm working on that. But we'll get into it. Uh so some decent dollar amount stuff, so that's good. So that that will help make up for the sluggish sales. So let's get into it. All right, first up we got this Pioneer receiver here. I think this was part of the Honey Hole sessions. I picked up and if I remember correctly if it was, it was probably like 8 bucks maybe something in that neighborhood uh so nice vintage piece here this sold for uh 72 dollars with uh probably about 50 bucks shipping because it's pretty hefty so all right next up we've got the bass pro trucker hat sold for 11 dollars some vintage over the hill birthday coasters some little vintage novelty gifts from 1995. Uh, these sold for $10. And we've got this Cardinals hat here. And there it is. And it sold for $7. We've got a Rams jersey. Ram stuff still selling. And that sold for $20. I had sold one of these the other day. This is the second one I had, a St. Louis Rams Raleigh towel, and it sold for $10. All right, we got a lot of 20 hats, sold for $20. And I finally, since I started listing again, finally made my 31,000 goal. That was supposed to be at the end of the month. I think the closest I got was 100 behind, like 3,900, 30,900. Uh, then I started my project. So that kind of put it off, but I am finally at my 31 goal for January. Now February's goal is 34,000. So we're gonna see if we can hit that 34,000 by the end of the month. And that is the goal, the goal, the goal, the goal, the goal. It's funny, uh, <laughs> uh, Precision Auto Body Hat sold for $7. Um, it's funny, I find myself like a kid. I walk around going, dang, I own a Porsche. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I know it's just a name, but still, it's kind of funny. Never thought I'd own a Porsche, so it's just it's of course it's the low end of Porsches, but still, it, it's a Porsche. 
Anyway, I just get a kick out of it like a freaking little kid, like a 15-year-old me in the crappy neighborhood, you know, or walking through Compton Heights, the rich neighborhood, wishing, wishing I had that security. And I could sit here and go, I got to push. <laughs> I know, it sounds dumb. But anyway, seven bucks. <laughs> Baby girl, I don't know if we're going to get Vern because uh, there's food cooking upstairs, so... He's camped out up there hoping to get something. But baby girl's down with me. <laughs> They've been playing again outside, so she's kind of wiped out. I love these full shelves. Man, can't wait to get this entire basement project done. And everything's just going to flow after that. So we got the Honeywell Service Line Products Trucker Hat. This sold for $12. All right. Kansas City Sporting Soccer Team. That sold for six fifty. dollars Alright, we got a Titleist hat. And that sold for $9. And after today, I should be starting my new uh, rotation uh, with my listing and separating and stuff. So probably in tomorrow's videos, I'll give you a rundown of my office and how I'm doing it. Uh, today, I'm probably going to finish out working on more CDs and uh, few more other little items I've got up there that I need to get out of there before I start this project but I'm really liking it Jan helped me take pictures this weekend uh she took a picture maybe 50 75 cds today and the other day she did uh maybe 25 hats so got a little help there and th th it flowed really nice even with if I'm just doing it by myself or if she's got a day off and she wants to come in and help take pictures, the way I got it set up, it flows really nice. So it's going to be, hopefully I'll be able to get a lot more listed than normal. So I hear him coming. <laughs> There's Mr. Camping out for food. Mr. Vern. All happy playing in the snow while it's melting. The house is going to get muddy over the next probably the whole week since it'll be melting <laughs> it's supposed to get i think like 50 by the end of the week so going to get messy and i have some cleaning to do probably some cleaning the dogs also <laughs> look at her just ready for bed already <laughs> all right we got this montana hat this sold for ten dollars all right, biodiesel hat. This hat's probably been in the store for over two years. Uh, clearance, $5. All right, SJMA, Steward of the Land hat. This sold for $9. CM Mules hat, sold for $8. Harrah's Casino, sold for $10. All right, this St. Louis Cardinals hat, sold for $10. Wilderness Outfitters hat sold for seven dollars. A cool black and red Coca Cola hat that sold for nine fifty. All right, shoe I wish I could wear Converse. I just can't wear flat shoes with no arch support. It just tears up my back. Uh, I had them in my collection for a while, hoping. <laughs> You know, I should try some, like, different inserts maybe or something, but I don't know. I sold them anyway. Uh, sold for $29, or $28.50, basically. All right, Bruce Foxton. This is the way. 12-inch vinyl and clearance item sold for $4. He went back up, and now he's back again. <laughs> he just wants some food so bad. He could eat, like, all day long and be happy but don't want to put too many pounds on him he's already probably like 130 and i don't want him to be like some saint bernard's where they get all that weight on him then they get it's hard for him to move around so much as they age so try to keep him in fit keep him fit a little bit <laughs> she's courtney's still in the same spot ain't she she has not moved courtney are you alive can I get a tail wag? There it is. <laughs> All right, we've got the very hard to move video discs and uh, some like it hot with Marilyn Monroe. This one sold for 450 clearance. 
All right, we got a Hanes Beefy T. Is that a PT Cruiser? <laughs> Dressed up like a bull. Uh, this sold for $9. All right, we've got a vintage Echo Lab satin jacket. Been in the store probably a couple of years. Sold for $10. George Cates Stardust. Uh, this sold for clearance, five bucks. Actually, the first time I went to Vegas was probably about in 2001. And I stayed at the Stardust before it was tore down. And it was pretty ran down when we were there. Like, there was water leaking from the ceilings and stuff. So you knew it was on its way out. But it was kind of cool to at least stay there one time. And the cool thing, too, is as we were in that hotel, the view out our window was the Strip. And they had turned a hotel into, what was the name of that hotel? It was in, a, I think, Rush Hour 2 movie with uh, Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. They were filming that film there. Some dragon hotel or some, something with dragons, I think it was. But anyway, they were filming that. So it was kind of cool to watch out the window how they were filming things and stuff. So that was a pretty cool experience for the first time in Vegas. But anyway, clearance, five bucks. All right, I got this cool Nike youth t-shirt here. This too has been in the store probably for a couple of years and sold for clearance, $5. All right, Springfield Cardinals t-shirt. This sold for $6. This shirt is so soft. What kind is it? Toltex. 65 pop. Polyester, 35 cotton. For some reason it's so soft. Uh, this sold for $6. We got Panama City Beach, Florida tie-dye youth shirt. Been in the store for probably almost two years too on this one. Sold for clearance, $5. Got this Nine West handbag here this sold for seven dollars all right we've got this was a bulldog or boston terrier or something i didn't know what it was i put both of those in the title and it's a doorstop hefty 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 and it sold for 32 dollars all right we've got this Knowles plate here called uh the wood duck and it sold for eight dollars. Right, Steve Lawrence, forty-five. Poor little rich girl. Sold for clearance, five dollars. Boz Skaggs, forty-five. Sold for clearance, five dollars. All right, DJ Nasty Nino presents Chop Shop CD. This one sold for seventy-two dollars. Darling Little Jackhammer CD, sold for $8. Professional Routing Secrets, VHS New, sold for $9. Toddler's Favorites Cassette, sold for $7. Daryl Hall and John Oates, self-titled cassette, sold for clearance $5. All right, No Doubt, Just a Girl Cassette Single, sold for $6. Are you ready for a cassette lot? You know, that's one thing I noticed is I had no really lots. And that could be because the com combining the orders kind of is messed up and won't do it automatically. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Let me check and see if this person shipping combined. Yeah, they're combined. This one worked, but hmm. the one yesterday or the day before, whenever that was, did not work. I wonder if that has something to do with it. Anyway, these two cassettes together, Lita Ford Karen Wheeler, and Karen Wheeler, sold for $9. Got a few more here, and then it looks like we got some to pull. So it's been a very chill day, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> and they're very chilled now, too. Look at that. Fern's like in a state of, what am I doing? Do I sleep? Do I not sleep? <laughs> All right, we got an Eddie Rabbit cassette. Sold for $14. Uh, we got this classical cassette here. And it sold for $5.30. We got the one and only Morris Day and the time. And uh, this cassette sold for clearance, $5. What? And the only international today. And this is yesterday's stuff, too. Or part of yesterday's. Um, clearance, five bucks. Going to Canada. 
All right, we got a cool distressed Amber Crombie hat sold for $14. It's the baby girl. So tired. So tired. All right, going to T23, which is hidden from me. Next month's project will get done. And I think this week I'm going to get a computer for in here to put here so that I can pull in here a lot quicker and easier too. So we'll get that done this week and start getting this slowly taken care of for next month's project. But we got Pillsbury Doughboy and this hat so far, $11. All right, we got two hats to get. Clear tote 88. This hat, I think it's this one. <laughs> and it sold for uh, $11. And we need up here. James, your back's still messed up. Don't do anything stupid. Alright. And we got this cool Brixton hat. And this sold for $20. <laughs> you don't know where you want to go, do you? Upstairs for food? Down here with me. <laughs> Alright. Chris Ledoux. Cassette sold for eleven dollars. All right, Gerber graduates toddler tunes cassette. Got two of these. This one sold for six dollars. Wish Dad a yawn. <laughs> All right, T fifty seven Bostonians or something like that. Oh, they're gonna be in here. Is that it? Or is that a boot? That's a boot. All right, I gotta get in this thing. Alright, some men's Bostonian dress shoes sold for $14. Alright. LHS hat sold for $7. Alright, we got a PlayStation Winter Olympics game sold for four and a quarter. And then Safe Light Auto Glass hat sold for $8. All right, E17. I guess we'll end this video right here. Pulling a little Metallica with this distressed cassette single. And clearance item sold for $5. Bam, 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 bam. Sorry if this was just a straightaway video. Uh, obviously, the pain meds I'm on from my back has got me mellow mood. So... <laughs> Uh, no puppet or anything today. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching and support. And hopefully tomorrow I should be all better on the back issue. So today's been the best day thus far. So go do some exercises, some stretching and uh, get to feeling better. So thanks everybody. And I'll see you in the next video.